Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Yahweh Shalom coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. This video is going to be entitled, What is Sin? Does God love sinners? All right, and I'm gonna go through this video, all right, from um, Nastasia Grace channel, you know where, basically, you know this um, this this woman, you know, she basically um, has gotten certain certain visions or dreams or whatnot, you know, of what's coming up the end, all right, you know it says um. In the bubble above her head, I cry out for those that still don't understand a shift is about to take place. You know, and she basically cries out and says, you know, to stop sinning. But these Christians, they don't understand what is sin in the first place. So if you don't understand what is sin, how can you stop sinning? Alright, so this video is for edification of those who don't understand. You know, those who may be coming in the shoot and don't understand what is sin. Alright, so let's play some of this video here. Hey y'all, hey. I hope everybody is having a great day on today. I'm sitting in my kitchen and I'm praying and I'm just, it's a heaviness on my heart. And I'm just talking to God about what's to come. And he said to me that the people are not ready they still don't get it y'all still don't get it yeah the majority of israel is not gonna get it you know not to go too much of course but they're not they're never gonna get it. in fact the lord said that you know he blinded them okay he blinded them all right he doesn't want them to get now let's get let's get romans 11 and 7 it says what it says what um what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest was blinding. According as it is written, the Heavenly Father had given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David saith, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see and bow down their back always and this is this is this is what the lord's the lord speaking here you know they're not gonna get all right so what we're dealing with we're not dealing with the whole of israel we're dealing with the elect of israel that's who we make these videos for all right the elect of yahweh shai let's continue y'all still don't get it oh i got eyes in the back of my there's so many people that still lost and think that run. it's a game out here and think that God ain't coming. I do what I can, can while I can for my people. And I'm telling y'all, if you are sinning and you in the world, get out of the world. Stop sinning. Not she not understanding even fully, you know, out of the world, you know, she not saying that she might be a member of the elect, but she's still in the world. She doesn't have any head covering on. All right. You know, she doesn't know the name of the Heavenly Father. She's still calling on Christ. Okay. So she and all needs to be edified. As the scripture says, Hosea 4 and 6, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Let's continue. And then, stop! If you got bitterness or unforgiveness on your heart, let it go! Let it go. God said he coming like a thief in the night. Yeah, the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. Now I sent um some scriptures in here. I'll just read from here. It says, um, I said, what is sin? Right? Sin is a transgression of the Lord's laws, right? First John 3 and 4. Whoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Which which laws? Well, let's see. For sin is the transgression of the law. 
And I said, not just the Ten Commandments, which are just foundation, right? But the whole 613 laws, right? So only one law was done away with the law of animal sacrifice. And our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, yeah, that's his name. Yahweh Shai, Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai meaning deliverer. All right, you know, his name, right? He became the sacrifice. All right, so so that so this that is what um. So that what sin is. All right, transgression of God's laws. All right, First John two and twenty four. So let that therefore abide in you, which you have heard from the beginning. If that which you have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye shall continue in the Son and in the Father. All right. So you shall continue in the Son and the Father if from the beginning. What we could receive from the beginning. We receive the law through Moses from the Heavenly Father. Alright? Miyawashim Yawashai. Alright, second John one and six. And this is the love, is love that we walk after come his commandments. No, not just the ten. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. So the commandments we got is the law. Law, statutes and commandments. Alright, so that's so you know, you need to understand as a as, a, as somebody who believes in the Lord, believe in the Bible, what is sin? Sin is transgression of God's laws. Alright? And everything that was written aforetime was written for our learning, right? Romans 15 and 4. For, who, what's, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Alright? You know? So this is how it's, it's sin. You know? And now let's go to. Let's get back to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 5. And verse, let's go. Verse 12. This is how sin entered the world. It says, Wherefore, as by one sin entered the world, right through Adam, right? And death by sin. And so death, right? Because the scripture says the wages of sin is death, right? Romans 6 and 23. All right. You know, righteousness is immortal. I think wisdom of Solomon 1 and 14. So when, you know, because we sin, we cease being righteous. You know, we die. Alright? So it says, And so death passed upon all men, for, for that all have sinned. For until the law, sin was in the world. But sin is not imputed where there is no law. Alright? Because law is what outlines sin. I'll tell you what, what, you know, as, scripture, as the scripture says, First John 3 and 4, Sin is transgression of the law. So if there is no no law, there was no sin. All right. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. All right, which is Yahweh Shai. Alright. So at the end of the day, you know, we understand where sin comes from. And also, you know, the reason why women are women women are weaker vessel, women sin more easily you know that's why we you have to watch yourself with women all right i'm not trying to hit on any sisters here the ones who, who sincere in this faith it's just telling the truth telling it as it is this is sirach chapter 25 and verse 24 it says what of the woman came the beginning of sin all right and through her we all die all right through her we all die okay of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all like that's we die because of the woman woman weakness same way a lot of men give the strength unto women so what is sin and a lot of sin is actually is related to women whether it be adultery you know whether it be men stealing because they steal for the woman right first i just chapter four it goes into that all right so let's go back to the um to here it says um it says the lord doesn't save but belief in the Son of God, which is Yahweh Shai, you know, does grace by we saved by grace through faith, right? That's what we saved, right? So we were pardoned. But we have to have faith in who Yahweh Shai. You know, not in Christ. Okay, that's not his name. Okay, Ephesians 2 and 8, for we by, we by grace are saved through faith, right? And that not of ourselves, it is a gift of the Heavenly Father. Not of works, lest any man should boast, right? So you see, it's a gift. Right? But we have to keep the laws as best as we could. As we see in Romans 3 and 31. Do we then make for the law through faith? Yahweh forbid. Yea, we establish the law. So we establish the law. Right? So, so now we clarify what sin is. 
you know we're gonna and you know we clarify we can clarify how you how you're gonna be saved all right because even though we are even though we sin we are not sinners because why we repent you repent and turn unto the lord all right so even though you sin you know you have the covering of your shaya mashiach you know by grace through faith all right but the next question um is does God love sinners and, and the Lord doesn't like sin of sinners. He, in fact, he hates sinners. And let's get at All right, Sisera, chapter 12, verse 6, it reads, For the Most High hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep at them against the mighty day of their punishment. He keep you until you, 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 you pass out. You might think that, you know, you're sinning and, you know, you're a sinner and you're not repenting and everything is everything. No. Lord is gonna catch you. He's gonna catch you. It's only a matter of time before your bashim your shai catches up to you. All right. It's only a matter of time. Let's get some more precepts here. Let's get um the book of um John, chapter nine, verse thirty one. Says now we know that the heavenly Father heareth not sinners. So when you free as a sinner, Lord is not even gonna hear you. All right. So so you understand how powerful this is. But if any man, that man may um, be a worshipper of the Heavenly Father, a true worshipper, spirit and in truth, right? And does his will, and this truth is all about this truth, right? No, not the Israelite, no, the names of the Heavenly Father and his Son, and trying and repenting and trying to abide by the laws and the statutes as best as you could, right? Believing in Yahweh Shai, okay? So it says, But if any man be a worshipper of the Heavenly Father and doeth his will, him he hear it, so the Lord is here those who try who trying to be righteous. Okay. The Lord hears those people. So let's just clarify, you know, for you, have a, for you have to have a better understanding of the things that the Lord likes. It says John 15, verse 22. It says, If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had they they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. Because you when you hear this word, this true word, you have no cloak for your sin, right? This word is going out there, people hear it. Alright? And after you hear this and you don't repent, you know you have no cloak covering for your sins. So yeah, for what? You're gonna be destroyed because the Lord what the Lord hateth sinners. He hateth sinners. That's just the facts. Alright, let's lean it down as it is. Alright, this is um let's see if I can get something here. A lot of people think um think this, right, because because they're not getting punished. Everything is everything. Now the scripture says in Sirach 12 and 6 that the keepers are keepers here for the, for the day of your punishment. Right? But this is the mentality a lot of you wicked jakes out there have. Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11. It says, um, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart which is the mind of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right? That they believe that because not getting punishment, they're going to continue in the evil ways. Though a sinner to evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Lord, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the heavenly Father. And this is what this is what we can fear destruction. Right? The Lord, you know, the Lord said, Those who hate him, he's gonna destroy. Alright? Um was it we were, we were John 15:22. Yeah, verse 23 says, He that hated me hated my father also. And how he hated the Lord by not obeying him. Alright, this that's the hate of the Lord. These are the nations, they hate the Lord. They hate the Abashim Yahushai, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. And two thirds of the people hate the Lord laws too. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. By hating the laws of the Lord, they hate him. Alright, and breaking the laws is sin. Alright, so the God, Lord could never love sinners, right? Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am He, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, right? Same judgment in Sirach 12 speaks about. Alright. It says I um, will pay vengeance. Same ve judgment and vengeance, right? I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me, right? That hate you, yeah, hate the Lord, right? They don't, they don't obey his, his laws and his statutes, all right? The Lord is going to destroy you, all right? 
you know where, where they be destroyed before world war three and the and the icbm nuclear missile destruction what the lord keeps you for that day and the point is he's going to destroy you so repent all right don't do do um don't wait don't wait you know don't wait repent uh, let's get one more precept all right sirach chapter 5 verse 7 it says make no tiring to turn unto the lord and put not off from day to day for suddenly shall the wrath of the lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance all right so hopefully you've been edified just went through what is sin and does god love sinners no he does not love sinners all right and sin is the transgression of his laws so if you're hearing this you know you're sinning you know you're breaking god laws all right repent pray this lesson was edifying i'm gonna give all praises honor and glory to you bashim yo shai bashim raka kodash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect see you next time shalom <laughs>